Hey YouTubers, good morning, Rob Moffitt. Guys, today's Sunday, so we're going to do a review. This is an earthing mat. This is what we're going to be reviewing. And I'm also going to tell you my experience with it in the last couple of weeks. For those of you who aren't familiar with an earthing mat is, it's a device that has a, a, a electrical conductive material that you can attach a wire to and then plug into your electrical system into the ground. That way it will ground you in the remove any excess uh, electricity from your body. <clears throat> I'm pretty cynical and skeptical. I did some reading and um, I actually found a study on National Institute of Health. I'll leave a link to it and maybe in the next month I'll do a review of the, 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 uh, of the study. But um, well, like I said, I'm skeptical, but they do claim that it has benefits. Some of them are um, sleeping better, reducing inflammation, uh, it's supposed to be better for your heart, which is the reason I got it. It helps to equalize or stabilize your parasympathetic and sympathetic nervous system um, and reduce cortisol levels and, and some other things it's supposed to be. Oh, also reduce uh, the stickiness of your blood uh, platelet levels. Um, there are There was a study done, and the study was done by people who are employed by the manufacturer of a grounding mat and also who have uh, stock in the company. So... But it's by the National Institute of Health, so they're on the up and up. That's about as high as you can go. Um, but, like I said, I'm skeptical. But because it had some possible health benefits for the heart, I thought I would give it a try. And it's very simple. Here's the key. I couldn't find any downside to it, to trying it, except that it costs $31, and you can make them yourself for just a few dollars. Really, you just have a conductive material with a wire that goes to a ground in your electrical system or into a pipe that's into the ground, actual ground outside. Here's what we've, right now, this is this is the back. It's soft, so it doesn't slide around. This is smooth part, so if you get it, this part is a wire that hooks into the snap, and the other part hooks into your uh, electrical ground. You know, when you have plugs here in this country, in the US, you have uh, the three prongs, and this part is your ground. This part is coming from the wire that's attached to the, the mat, it plugs into the ground. Now, before I tried it, I purchased this device. It's like six or seven dollars. It, it tests your outlets to, to see if they're wired correctly because you don't want to be trying something and you don't have it's on correctly. This shows that it's wired up correctly. These are very handy to have. There's no battery involved. This would last for years. You'd give this to your grandkids. And you could save a lot of money for electric electrician fees. If you're having trouble with your wiring in a house, they're very inexpensive. And they can tell you if you're, you're cross-wired, if, if you're shorted and so on with all your... Okay. Now, the other thing I had to get, because I actually, now that I know that the the outlets are good, I had to get a... Uh, uh, Voltmeter because I have an old uh, analog voltmeter, but I wanted some that would measure millivolts, and so I bought this one for like 24 bucks on uh, on Amazon. It's an Astro A1, I think it's a D. I'll leave a link to it. Um, it's uh, every every household should have a voltmeter. I, I'm not an expert or even a very good amateur at electronics, but you should have something to check the DC on your car, the AC in your house, or your batteries, or, or continuity. Um, this will do a lot more. But I do a lot of stuff. I don't even know how to use it. But uh, basically, I just use it for continuity, AC, DC, and second batteries and stuff, and fuses. But we're going to be using that to check to see if the uh, the mat works. Now, here's here's the process. Like I said, next month I think I'll make a video on how to make a mat, and then also. Uh, go over the study that was done by uh, the National Institute of Health, or were published there. And but today, we're, I'm going to show you how I test it and then tell you the results I've gotten with the mat. So we're going to put it on volts. And this is our ground. And our ground... I always hate doing electrical stuff because I'm not that good at it. And I know I'll get a lot of comments from people saying I don't know what I'm doing when they're absolutely correct. So this is the mat ground, and then this is the ground we're going to put for 
the voltmeter or the multimeter. So we're reading, I think that's, well, I'm going to put my finger on it. And we're reading 300 and 310 millivolts. So if I put my hand on it, it should go down. Because it's grounded. It should go down more than that, but, but that's still quite a lot. But partly it's reading high because these are electronic devices and they're also putting out uh, electricity. For instance, if, if I put my hand like close to the, to the lights over here, I get a much higher reading because they're uh, giving off an electrical current in the air. See, I'm putting close to the LED lights that are underneath, underneath the, uh, the cabinet. And now when I come away. So these electro devices are also putting out a current. If I took them off the map, but I don't have enough room to keep them in the focus. So you can see the three, like 300 and something. And I put this down. If I didn't have these electrical instruments on there, it would go down even farther. So I, I can tell that the mat is working, it's grounding, and it's removing some of the stray voltage. Now, that's how I test it. Like I said, I have the black on the ground, <clears throat> or the black's the ground, the red is the positive. This wire, oh, you know what else we could do? We could remove this here. We can show you the results we get when we remove it. So now there shouldn't be any ground there. It's actually going up. <laughs> 900. And now I'll put the, the ground back on the mat. So you can see the, the grounding wire does work with this mat. So we know that the outlets work because we use the tester. And we know that the mat works. Now how I use the mat is when I'm working at my desk, I can put it on the floor, put my feet on it. At nighttime, I put it on the bed near my feet and I lay my feet on it. It's kind of nice at night because it it doesn't uh, it, it doesn't absorb a lot of heat. So the, the, your, your heat and your feet build up. So it keeps your feet kind of warm laying on this. And it's not uncomfortable at all. Also, sitting in my chair at the computer, I'll... Uh, leave my shirt off and put the, this over the back of my chair and have this resting on my back or my back against it and that's another way I can ground so it's very simple to use it's easy to keep clean there's nothing to break and it looks like it works now what are the benefits uh, I've been using it for a couple of weeks and it's supposed to give you better sleep actually I sleep pretty good because I black out my windows I use melatonin um, I don't eat anything after six and um, I, I try to have good sleep habits. And the second night I use it, I actually had a, a rather decent length, of, like a little over eight hours. And that's, I usually seven and a half is about what I get. And it was eight hours. But, but, but I had a really nice, deep, peaceful sleep. Didn't wake up one time. However, a few nights later, I woke up several times and had a very bad night. But it might have been something I ate or something else. Also, when I woke up that morning, I had to make a phone call. I couldn't remember my sister's number, the last digit. So, um, <laughs> you know, you balance out. I did have a good night of sleep, but the other night, like, I, I couldn't remember a uh, phone number. So, you know, you you got to take the good with the bad. Or the bad with the good. Now, what about pain and uh, inflammation? I do suffer from problems with my shoulders. I have rotator cuff problem. And uh, when I sleep when I, uh, my shoulders hurt from laying on them. A couple of nights using this, I had very bad pain the next day. So maybe I would have had worse pain without it. I don't know, but I'm just, those are my results. Um, however, the heart, um, I do suffer from uh, premature beats. Now that I've had my AFib, I don't have the rhythm problems anymore, but I do still have, periodically have uh, beats that are not in, uh, they're, they're premature or they're just skipping or pausing and they are not every day or sometimes even every week but they do happen frequently and when I went the first day I used it 
the very next day I had to go to my cardiologist. And when I came home from the cardiologist, I could tell I was having some skip beats. But that was like over about, oh, about, I've been using it for two weeks since, and I haven't had any other premature beat since using the mat. So to me, that was one of the main reasons I purchased a mat. And so, of course, it could, because those numbers, that, that, that could be just coincidental or completely normal, because it doesn't happen on a schedule. But here's the thing. A few days, like a week into using the mat, I had a really uh, strenuous day, a lot of activity outside the house and then uh, physical activity. And that tends to uh, be a time when I start getting skipping. And I, I actually could feel my heart uh, at a point where, or my chest, that this was normally where I would start getting skipping. And I tested with my stethoscope. I didn't hear I have any skipping at all. So, so far it's been, I'm being pretty happy with that respect. You can build these yourself with a metal screen and just get a wire and attach to it. And then you have, you have to have something that will plug into your ground. Um, and, and you can make these yourself. So you, you don't have to spend this money. Um, and I'll, I'll, next month I'll do a report or a video on, on the study that was done uh, and was published in National Institute of Health. And I'll also show you how you can make one of your own. I'll make, I'm going to make a playlist and put all of my grounding uh, videos on the playlist. This will be the first video of the playlist. So I hope that was something helpful to you. Like I said, I'm not an expert at electronics, so if I got anything wrong, you guys let me know, but I think I did it right. And this seems to be a very good, uh, inexpensive uh, multimeter. And these little guys, I'll leave a link to them too. You can check your, your all your outlets in your house and then make sure they're uh, wired correctly. I had a outlet in my house here. Y you, If I plug something into the wall, I could use the light and, and fan on my stove. If there was no appliance plugged into the wall in the other room, you couldn't turn on the light or the fan on the stove. And uh, the first uh, electron uh, electrician I talked to thought I was crazy. <laughs> it was the, it was the uh, wiring in the outlet. All right, guys. Hope that was helpful to you. And like I said, I'll leave links in the video description uh, to Amazon and more information about grounding and. Uh, to see what you guys think about it. I put on new videos every week. Been doing it for 13 years. Got over 860 some videos. A bunch of cool people I feature on my channel and a bunch of playlists on different subjects. And I'm going to start a new playlist, playlist today on grounding uh, and see what you guys think. Like I said, I'm skeptical, but I can't see any downside. This is something you can make, make yourself even. Um, there's not uh, patented technology for this, uh, maybe for this particular mat, but for, for grounding mats, you can make yourself know. All right. Guys, I hope you're taking your vitamin D and you're all doing all the good things out there and staying safe and keeping optimistic in these wonderful times. <laughs> and these two, this too shall pass, friends. This too shall pass. All right, guys. Stay healthy, stay happy, and uh, come back. See you out there.